Oh. No way, someone's here underneath us. Yep, yeah, there he is, guns. That's a what? That can't be a what? Means he's a solo. Oh! Right there! Should be a bullet in there. Just keep firing. You can hit, you can wall bang that. Someone's played it back up. I'm trying. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Still in there. Yeah, I got them all. Hey, 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 what is going on, guys? Adagit here back again with another video on some Warzone 3. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the best Bruin uh, light machine gun build that you can currently do when you are running the new Jack Tyrant uh, aftermarket part, as I believe what it's called. It's an aftermarket part that uh, puts an integrated suppressor barrel on the Bruin as well as a 60 round uh, magazine. So instead of having you know that 100 round belt, you've got that and you've got the integrated suppressor as well as barrel, two attachments for the price of one. And with that, it allows you to do some different kind of more interesting builds and it expands on the movement of the gun a little more and gives you a little better movement speed as well as some other things that we'll go over a little more in detail as I show you the loadout. But if you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel, please let me know by dropping a like on this video. It's free and greatly appreciated. Puts a smile on my face. That way I know I'm doing a good job. You can comment down below if there's any other way that you would build this Jack Tyrant Bruin uh, loadout. Tell me any attachments you would change or anything like that. And hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the content that I'm making and hit that bell so you don't miss an upload and uh, you know can view it right away and maybe even catch me in the live streams that I do when I play, and uh, maybe we can even run some games of Warzone together. But without further ado, I am gonna go ahead and show you this loadout now. All right, so as I was saying, oh, it is, okay, it's the Jack Shadow Titan kit. Uh, this is the first attachment we are going to show off on the Bruin, uh, I think it's MK9, yeah, MK9. So what it actually does is it converts it, you know, into a compact integral suppressed light support Weapon chambered, and it has 300 blackout now instead of the normal, I believe it's 5.56 five, or might be 7.62, I can't remember. It's one of those. Um, and what this is going to do is it's obviously going to give you a suppressor on the gun itself. It's going to increase the ADS, the movement speed, and the reload quickness at the cost of, uh, obviously, you know, like 40 extra shots, but it doesn't need it. The damage profile doesn't actually change on this gun, and it is going to tank the bullet velocity and range, so keep that in mind. That is kind of a bummer. Um, so this thing kind of goes, you know, from being a pretty good long range choice to kind of more of a medium range gun, but the thing that uh, it doesn't actually show, and I don't know why, is it's actually going to increase your fire rate by about 11%, which means your time to kill is going to be a lot faster within that effective damage range, so it's kind of this weird, a little more mobile Bruin variant, um... I don't really notice too much of a difference really shooting it at range, uh, and I've been able to do okay with it when I've been using it, and I like it. Uh, it doesn't really have any recoil either, and I think it might actually get the the 300 blackout uh, no skull trick, but don't quote me on that. Um, no enemy skull, you know, when you kill someone. I, I think it might, but don't. I, I haven't confirmed this yet, so don't. Just take my word with a grain of salt. But this is the first attachment that you're gonna have to put on the gun to run it the way that I do in this video and the gameplay that you will see after. Next up, I just went ahead and threw on the Stip 40 grip to give you more recoil and gun kick. It hurts idle, aiming idle sway, but this gun really doesn't have that much to begin with. So uh, it doesn't really hurt too bad. And there's an attachment later on that uh, you can actually see in the picture right now will help uh, counteract this aiming idle sway from this rear grip. You can also honestly just go ahead and throw on this print of fire ADS grip like this one. Uh, this one's really not worth it at all. It, flinch resistance doesn't really matter on the, you know, assault rifles and light machine guns. And you're going to want aim walking movement speed. So don't don't run this. Uh, if you are already comfortable with recoil, to be honest, I did uh, want to try this out. I just haven't had a chance to play the past few days. 
Uh, so let me know if any of you actually run this rear ADS grip to give more Spencer Fire name and outside time. I have a feeling it's probably pretty nice and just won't even feel that different, but I know it's gonna uh, do a good job for that Sprint to Fire, which all light machine guns, you know, they need help in that department. But for the sake of my build, I was just running the Stip 40 just to, you know, completely kill all the recoil. Next up, we have the Lane 56 stock. This is exactly what you would expect out of those stocks. It's a recoil stock that is going to assist with recoil and gun kick control. Uh, nothing new there. Just throw it on. It's going to help make the gun an absolute laser. Next up, I am actually running the Bruin Heavy support grip on this. This is going to help counteract the aiming idle sway of the rear grip, and it's going to help reduce any vertical recoil that the Bruin has. It doesn't really even have any to begin with, and it really doesn't have any vertical, but when you throw this on, it just... Gun, gun only goes up. It doesn't really bounce around too much. Uh, it, it does look like it is visually, but that's just visual recoil. Your bullets are definitely going, you know, where that center dot is in your scope. So just keep that in mind. And it's going to bounce around a lot, but it's, it's really not. Your shots are going where they should be. So just keep that in mind. And, you know, this will help get rid of the aiming idle sway negative that comes with the rear grip. <clears throat> Lastly, I just like to run an optic on the gun. Uh, so that's just what I'm choosing to do here. Uh, I highly recommend if you don't have a favorite site already that you run this Corio Eagle Eye 2.5. It's just the best site in the game, in my opinion, that's, you know, not like a thermal or doesn't have glint. Uh, it basically to me is just like the VLK from Warzone 1. Like it's just a no brainer, like absolute must run optic. <clears throat> All right. So that is my build for the Bruin MK9 titan uh i think it's shadow titan kit uh with the jack you know aftermarket conversion kit it's something new and fun to use so i highly recommend that you give it a try it's just kind of a fun melt machine and having that extra rate of fire on the bruin which it didn't really need but it has makes it just you know kill even faster so it's pretty fun to use i recommend you guys go ahead and give it a try if uh, you would change anything on this build, though, let me know in the comment section down below and what other attachments you might run instead of the way that I have my loadout built in this video. Hit that like button if you appreciate the build that I've showed you and, uh, you know, just appreciate all the effort that goes in these videos and the hours, just, you know, testing and figuring out what's good, what's bad. And hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the content that I'm making. That way you can, you know, catch these videos as they come out. You can hit that bell. That'll help you do that. And it might even help you catch a live stream uh, here on YouTube or Twitch where you can come play Warzone matches with me. But my name is Adajet. I'm going to go ahead and I have a really high kill Rebirth Island gameplay uh, to just show you, you know, after this to show you how the gun works. So stick around for that. Enjoy the rest of the video. Adjet out. Peace, y'all. Yeah, try and go across and run the down at the bottom. Someone. Yeah, I already killed him. I saw that. I actually broke him with that nade before. He actually made a really good jump. I was surprised by it. This one's already above. Yep. There's actually two up there. Land up underneath you, Pat. Someone's opening Under. doors and shit to you. I opened the door. I gotta listen. Up. I'm gonna make a new easy. On the roof then, Pat. They're probably both up now. Yeah. Yep. Three of them now. Is it three? Mm-hmm. One of them flew in. A white rabbit. No, it's not a teammate. Couple. Like the sick. Sit. We got precision, by the way, Pat. Oh, no, please make it. Please make it. Mm, you're dead, aren't you? Uh-huh. Quite. In the 
the street along the wall. Towards boat. Somewhere, but yep, short roof. There we go, we got them all. This should be all the Tiffin teams. Nice job. You swap with me when I need you, you do. Should hopefully be it. So I'm gonna go Is, anyone, near? Is there anyone near? I already killed them. Yeah, there are. They're the by that's northeast or in front of us, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, they're, they're coming, Pat. I, I gotta back off. You're gonna need to go to the boat and hide. I don't wanna try and kill the teammate who's gonna fly in. Oh. No way, someone's here underneath us. Hey, remember this, that other team's gonna come out. So you gotta get ready for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, coming from the zips area, like that direction. But I think they're up top with us. Let's let's get on top of what's it called, so we can have some high ground on them. On. Control. Yep, there he is, guns. That's a what? Oh, yeah. That can't be a what? It means he's a solo. Oh! Right there! Should be a bullet in there. Just keep firing. You can hit, you can wall bang that. Someone's played it back up. Aftermarket kit ruin. Might be tower. Mm. Directly underneath us. Oh, fuck. Watch out, Pat. Wait, he's in there? Yeah, there's two. He's rezzing his buddy right now. Find me a buy. Just kidding. There's a player. I gotta listen. Got a double scanning UAV at the moment. So it'll go two times faster. Behind the, you see them behind the wall, right? Melt them. You can wall bang this building, Pat, right where I'm shooting. Now yeah, one thing. Don't worry about the kids next to right, you see the team jump yeah, 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 I see him. I got him. I got, got him. <laughs> Got him. Wall kids now, that's it. I'm, I'm I know. dying, I so.
Nice. Hey, this Bruin isn't that bad. Assist leader. 